friends, Nibs again, out in the garage again tonight, and uh, I've got a couple of things to show you guys tonight. I've got a local bring home, uh, picked up a gun. You guys, have, if you've been on the channel for any amount of time, you've seen this one before. And uh, then I have a new mail call, so we're going to have a mail call and a local bring home tonight. But uh, let's go ahead, and I want to do the mail call first, because I've already seen that one. I want to see what's in the box. I haven't seen this one. Uh, I'm kind of on a, uh, a new mission in life to buy every single stroke pneumatic pistol ever made, I think. <laughs> but uh, uh, this is another one here I found on eBay. Uh, it's another game -o. I really, I really am having a tough time finding a lot of uh, useful information about this one, at least in uh, an English-speaking format. Uh, seems like maybe this one was a lot more popular overseas uh, a lot of a lot of Spanish and European uh, other languages uh, reviews for this one but not a lot not a lot in English so <laughs> I'll be uh, one of the first to do a real review on this thing uh, assuming it works and so this one has uh, two it can fire two different kinds of ammunition. It's a 177 caliber, but it is able to shoot uh, lead round balls or uh, 177 pellets. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. So what we have here is a Gamo uh, AF-10 and uh, the seller did claim that this jammed when you tried using the uh, feeding mechanism, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how exactly how that works, but I would probably be shooting this mostly with pellets anyway. But uh, still has the original box. These are been discontinued for quite a while. Uh, see the date on the brochures from 1991 so if that gives you any indication but uh, what we have here is a Gamo AF-10 like I said already um, does come with a tin of lead 177 round balls like I said uh, many times in the past you really don't want to shoot out of a gun that has a rifled barrel you don't want to shoot steel BBs that's just not a good way of doing things Let's see here. The barrel is clear. The barrel is rifled. So this is basically another single stroke pneumatic. The thing that kind of sets this one apart, uh, most of them you push in the back here to open it up, but this one actually has uh, little latches on the side here. And you pull that and open it up. And uh, another thing that really sets this one apart, and hopefully it does work and the guy was wrong, but there is a little feeder tube here that you can uh, open up and then you can feed in uh, up to 10 uh, lead BBs. I'm not going to mess with that t tonight. I'm going to play around with that and uh, make sure it's working and I'll do a better review on this gun uh, separately. But we'll just try some uh, 177 pellets in it for, for tonight and uh, we'll worry about the feeding mechanism later. Let's go ahead and just charge it once without, uh, it doesn't have an automatic, it does have a safety in the handle, but it's not an automatically setting safety. So, sounds like it's got some power. Let's go ahead and uh, I do like the way this barrel is arranged a little better than like the, the P17. It's open towards the back so you can get better access to it. All right, let's see what we got here. It's shooting. I'm not sure how much power it really has, but it probably needs a little oil in the, the mechanism. It shot across the garage, though, and... It's shooting. <laughs> That's good. So let's uh, 
we'll, we'll do a better review on that down the road but set this off to the side and we'll talk about the uh, the local pickup so you guys have seen this one before if you've been on the channel for any amount of time I had gotten this one from a local friend uh, and I had actually gotten it from him last year to do some work on it and uh, I was not able to well I wasn't comfortable getting any further into it as far as um, repair work on it not being my own I'm a little more comfortable doing some <clears throat> maybe altercations or modifications to it to make it work it's tough finding parts for this this is a Shinsung which is a Korean brand uh, career ultra this brand basically has uh, become what is now the Seneca brand but uh, this one is a uh, 357 358 caliber uh, they also they call it nine millimeter but it's also a lever action which is pretty cool so it doesn't have any air in it right now so but uh, <clears throat> it shoots some pretty pretty massive pellets <laughs> uh, or slugs depending on what you put in it uh, but it did come with a bunch of a uh, bunch of nice ammo too and uh, I have a couple of molds here too that I can make ammo for this with as well. So there is the one of the uh, the slugs for it. Pretty pretty massive as far as pellets go. Um, not the biggest that are around now. You got 50 kales and 72 kales and <laughs> all sorts of stuff like that. But um, I still need to do a little work on it and get it up and running. But came with uh, some. Some of these uh, Nielsen Specialty 358 85 greens. Let's see what this other box is here. Um, Nomad HP 83 greens. Uh, this is not marked with anything. There's another box of Nielsen's. So lots of good, uh, these are 86 green. I know I have a mold here that'll do some 94s and some 104s, and I've actually used those to load some uh, some powder burners too. So, but that'll be pretty cool. Um, there you go. There is the uh, combination mail call and bring home for today. Really love the the look of this thing. It just has a just a massive look to it, but uh, really nice. Uh, powerful I understand this thing has taken uh, several deer uh, over the years and uh, has plenty of power for that so anyway hope you liked the video till next time have a great day